this is Mark from StoneAdvice.com. We're at Northwood right now, and we're in the Tech Center. I'm here with Ravi Tidwell and some friends, and we're actually going to talk about how to use the Slabsmith software. We're going to take some pictures of a slab, and we're actually going to do the layout and make a little film for you to show you how this amazing technology is going to work in a stone shop. So, Ravi, come on here and show us what we're going to be doing. All right, Mark, each shop is different. The lighting, the lighting is totally different in every shop. So what we've done is we've come up with an A-frame that we can change the lighting that would work with any shop that we may go in. And what we have is we have an A-frame, a typical A-frame, where we place the slab on the background, uh, which will allow you to get good shots of it without having a lot of uh, um, shadow on the face. The lighting system is made up on an adjustable bar for the lights, for the different, uh, different views that you may have in your shop. Now, Robbie, are these lights flashes or they just come on and stay on? These shots, are, these, these lights are flashes. Wow. And if you notice, I have no wires at all on the floor. Oh, so it's wired. I have a totally remote wireless system for nice. making photographs. So once you've loaded the slab, the idea is that we're going to take a picture and be able to find the actual perimeter of the slab. Have a great high, how, high, how high resolution of a photo we take? This is 8 megapixel photograph. So we're going to produce an 8 megapixel photograph. Now if there was a part of the slab that we didn't want to use, could we identify that and, and, and bring that into the software? We can identify it by a piece of tape, by a uh, paint marker, by a grease pen marker, however you want to uh, mark that point. Okay, so we've got the slab loaded, we've got our lights positioned where they're supposed to be. What are we going to do next? Here's the camera. What you have with the camera, again, this is just a Canon Rebel 8 megapixel camera. Uh, it's already been pre-set up from the install, which our guys at Northwood will set up for you. You can do one of two ways as far as making a photograph. We can also photograph from your computer in the office, or you can have a standalone computer like what we have here with the Canon software on it, and you can do the photograph from here, visually inspect the photograph, and make sure that the okay, So now we're going to go ahead and take the photograph of the slab. Again, if you'll notice, there is no wires involved in it. The photograph's taken. Now let's go into the office and let's view. All right, so when we're here with Robbie, and we've just brought that picture in that we've taken, he's going to show us how we would actually bring this slab up and assign some parts to it. Now what we've done here is we actually got this set up in a little conference room. You could do something like this in your showroom and share this uh, experience with designers, builders, and potential customers. So now we're going to watch Robbie actually go through the process of setting up something for Slabsmith. What we need to do first of all, Mark, we need to bring a job in. And the way that this is set up, as you see over on the left hand side, these are individual parts. These are parts that we went out and did templates on. So we've imported that DXF file into our system. This is what we call the layout. This is the layout side, just like you would be out on your bridge saw with your stick templates. Instead, of we're doing everything digital. Over on this side, this is our finished uh, finished job. This is how it's going to look where we get it finalized from the customer. We get them to sign off on it, and this will show all of our grain matching. Um, so the customer will see exactly what their kitchen is going to look And where like. you've got the mouse right now, that's actually the seams, right? This is the seam here, and we also have a seam over on this side, just so that you can see the grain matching that's going to be taking place uh, in this software. Now, can you make one side of the screen bigger than the other? I can. We'll wow, that's so cool. We can zoom in. We can pan. So once you get the once we bring the slab in, import the slab in, then we can actually zoom zoom up directly onto that scene. And if we want to see the full view again, I just double click out in space, and now I have the full view. So let's start out. Let's go ahead and bring in the photograph that we took out in the shop. As you see here, we have a library of different slabs that we've taken photographs of. And we can go through and we can sort by name, by price group, by color. Uh, you can go to your supplier. You can go and select uh, the slabs by material, granite, marble, silestone. And all this right here is customizable. So, I mean, you can go in and customize this library or this uh, filter sorting system to whatever your needs are. Nice. Thickness, 
two cm, three cm. So if you had a remnant that, and you needed it to be thirty five inches by sixty five inches and dark and granite, you could type in those parameters. It would go to your library and pull up all the remnants that meet those criteria. That's correct. So what you're saying is we wouldn't have to go rummage through a whole big old pile of stone to find that remnant. Now, will we be able to print a barcode and assign a barcode eventually? Is that how that's going to work? Eventually it will, yes. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's the slab we just, wow, nice. So that's the slab we just took a picture of. This is the one we just took a picture of. And just so that you can see the grain movement, if you look over on the, let's just pan over to this side so that you can see what is going on here wherever I'm moving this part. Now, if you notice, I have my mouse over on this side. I don't right. really have to keep it over here. I can move it over on, on this piece, and I'm moving my part. Right. Wow, that is cool. So it makes it very flexible. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of grain matching. I know we've got this one slab here, uh, which that's the one we took a photograph of. Let's go ahead and bring some parts in onto the, uh, onto the slab. And let's do a little bit of grain matching here. Now we know that uh, if we if we move uh, if we move this uh, piece here up, we can actually get it right at the edge, and we can come in with our saw, make the cut, and then here in the radius of this but, European miter. We well, can, let's do this, Robbie, just for the purposes of this. Let's move those parts way apart and see if we can get a grain match by going in a completely different location where you wouldn't expect to be able to get sure. the grain match. All right, let's do that. Place this over here. Cause hell, anybody can do that. <laughs> can we get that long one on there? Sure. Let's move this one. Yeah. Let's and let's move that one down to the bottom so we can act like we're having a really tough layout. All right. Let's make it even tougher. Let's take this piece here, which normally this would be the seam. Right. Pull these two. Now let's Just rotate, rotate this it. thing around. There we go. Okay. There we go. So now that we've got got it uh, got it moved over, I'm gonna move this one on up. Okay. There Let's we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, here's our piece. We're going to be doing a little bit of matching. And that actually looks pretty good right there. How's that? If you notice here where your your grain has a little bit of flow. Now let's look at that slab. Though. That's nowhere even. Yeah, that seam is nowhere near the other seam. No. Wow. Here's the seam. There's the seam. Oh my God, this is so cool. All right, let's go to the. Let's go to the. To the other side of it. Let's take this piece here. Wow, that is cool. Let's drive this one around. Just put it way over here on this side. How do you like that, Mark? Mm, it's a little hot. We need to find a place not that color's not quite right. All right. Let's uh, let's move a little bit more. There you go. There let's you go. Right there. Look at that. Bit. Look at that right there. How about Money. That? money. Okay, let's do a okay. full shot of that. Okay. There's your full shot. <laughs> and then there's our actual layout. About that. Okay, so now what we'd be showing our customer, let's go to an isometric view. And let's let's go ahead and bring us uh Hey, let's throw some splash on there. Yeah. Splash down. Look at that, man. So move the splash around for a second, Robbie. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. So we can actually try to line the veins up on the. Can you zoom in on that a little bit? Yep. Let's, let's line up the veins on our backsplash, too. Let's see what we're looking at. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Hey, you like that, Mark? That's money. You like that? That is money. All right. 